What's going on everybody? Justin here with From Zero to Studio and today I want to show you how I create vocal delay throws. Let's dive in. So today we're talking about vocals and specifically vocal delay throws. Now a delay throw is basically a delay that you add to a certain word or phrase. And you can use this to accentuate a certain part or even to fill space in between different vocal lines. And this technique is used pretty often in modern music. It's just a nice way to add some additional character to your vocals. So this is a song called Good To Me and it's by Jessica Vang. And she did a great job recording all of her parts at her home studio and then sent it in for mixing. But today we're gonna add some additional delay throws to this first verse. So let's just hear the first verse without any delay throws. <laughs> Alright, so I do have some reverb and some delay already on these vocals. And those levels do change throughout the song with automation, but for these delay throws, we're gonna add an additional effects track. So I'm gonna right click and go to add track and go to effect track. And then from here, I don't need to add any effects to here yet. The configuration is gonna be stereo. I want it to go to my pre-mix bus, which is then feeding into my mix bus. It has processing on both those channels. And we're just gonna call this delay throw. All right, so there's our track. And right now we don't have anything routed to there. So I'm gonna to go to the vocal bus and I'm gonna send from the vocal bus to that effects track. So next we're gonna add some inserts and you could go with just a delay if you wanna delay the full vocal sound. But typically if I'm using a delay throw track, I usually like that to stand out a little bit differently from the vocals. So typically I'll, I've almost created like a lo-fi sound, like an old radio sound, or even add some distortion to it. Uh, so we're gonna have a few different plugins on this track, but let's start by adding a stereo delay. So once you get inside of the delay, I'm going to turn the feedback all the way down because I only want to delay certain words or phrases, and I don't need all of those phrases overlapping each other. I want the wet to be 100% on both channels. And you'll see we have delay one and delay two, and that's your left and right channel for this. I'm not going to change anything with the low filters or the high filters because I am going to throw an EQ on after this. Uh, but what I do want to change is the duration of the delay. So right now we're on whole notes, and I want these to be half notes for this song. And you could do quarter notes, you could do a half note on one side or a quarter note on the other. However, with this song specifically, it felt good with just a half note on both sides. So after that, let's close out this delay. And then the next plugin I'm going to throw on is an EQ. So on this EQ, I'm really only using this just for the high pass and low pass. I'm going to bring that high pass up somewhere maybe around 600. And let's bring that low pass down to about 2K. I'm just really creating a narrow area to get that old radio style effect that I like on my delay throws. So let's close out that EQ. And then up next, I'm gonna add a little bit of distortion just to make this stand out a little bit more. And for that, I'm gonna use the stock Cubase plugin called Destroyer. Um, and actually the stock preset for this sounds good for my delay throws, so I'm not gonna change anything from that default setting. Last but not least, we're gonna add some reverb. And I'm just going to use our verb from Waves. And I'm going to go to a standard stock vocal plate. And put that at about 10%. So one last thing that I'm going to do is go down to the sends for this channel, for the delay throw channel. So I do have that 10% wet reverb on there. But I also want to send these to all the same send effects that the vocals are going to. The other additional reverb and delays. Just to get that same character and for some extra depth. So I'm actually just going to copy the sends from the vocal bus and I'm going to go to that delay throw track and I'm just going to paste them right on there. So let's go back and take a look at that first first. I'm going to enable the right automation function on here by clicking the W button. I'm going to open up the fader and then you'll be able to watch my fader moves and watch the track automation being written on the track as well. You look at me like I'm the only one.
so you'll notice that I only put this on certain words or phrases, mostly where there's a little break between vocal lines. So what I would probably do in here, like I know on this phrase here, it actually got a little bit too much of that previous word for me. It caught a little bit of that word feeling in there. So I would probably just cut that out just to where that delay is going to pop up. There we go. And then I did the same thing actually on that last line here too. History is the rest. Oh. I really just want to capture that is the rest and I caught some of that history in there. So let's get rid of that. It's the rest. Oh. History is the rest. Oh. History There we go. So one other thing to note with these is that they don't always have to be at the same volume. Uh, you could keep some of them down if you want them just a little more subtle in the mix and then just bring them out with automation if you want it to be louder uh, at a transition part or something like that where you want a word to pop more. You can kind of see that I kept the second phrase a little bit lower than the first one. Because at the end of that phrase, we're kind of breaking down and getting a little softer instrumentally there. Um, and I just didn't want that to jump out as much. And if for some reason I did keep that louder on that part, I could manually just bring the automation down or I could go back and I could just rewrite it with the fader moves again. Let's hear these vocals soloed out right there and just hear how those delay throws are coming in play. Your universe Shining bright like the North Star I love the way you put me first Put me first Be with you got me feeling blessed Only you can do what you do best Handle me with carefulness History is the rest Only And then one more time without the delay throws And let's just hear that end bit right there Funness. History is the rest Only you So you do hear some of that original delay carrying over, but having that delay throw jump through, she adds a little bit extra touch to there. Funness. History is the rest Only you can f And one more time back in the mix. So even with these delay throws, you can do some cool things with them. You could pan them left and right. You could have them move for different delay throws, maybe 50% one way just to showcase a word on one side of the mix. You could have other kinds of effects or you could feed them to different reverbs and just really get creative to make your own sounds with them. Some people even like to add auto tune to that delay track, put it at 100% and feed that into the delay. That way all your repeated parts are perfectly tuned. They sound nice going into all your reverbs and additional effects. And the options are pretty limitless to what you want to do to create your own sounds. So there you have it, that's how I create delay throws. And you can do this inside any DAW, it's not specific to Cubase. But if you have any questions or comments, just drop them down below. And of course, don't forget to like and share this video if you thought it was helpful to you. Now as you're working on improving your recording and mixing skills, if you want a guide that'll walk you through every step of the process from songwriting and recording up through mixing and mastering, you can download the roadmap to a radio ready song. 
This guide covers the five steps required to take your song from sounding like a demo to sounding pro, and you can download it absolutely free as my gift to you by going to from zero to studio.com slash roadmap, or by clicking the link below in the description, and you can start improving how you're capturing and creating your music. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I'll see you on another video soon. Thank <laughs> you.